Bible. First Samuel 13. From verse 1. Now, when David and his men came to Ziklag on the third day, the Amalekites had made a raid upon the Negev and upon Ziklag, and they had overcome Ziklag and burned it with fire and taken the woman and all the way in it, both small and great. They killed no one, but carried them off and went their way. And when David and his men came to the city, they found it burned with fire, and their wives and sons and daughters were taken captive. Then David and the people who were with him raised their voices and wept until they had no more strength to weep. David's two wives also has been taken captives, Anion and of Jezreel, and Abigail, the widow of Nabal of Carmel. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him, because all the people were bitter in soul, and each of his sons and daughters. Let me read that verse again. And David was great, greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him, because all the people were bitter in soul, each for his sons and daughters. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. Can you see the verse there? And look at, just jump the verse and go to number eight. And David inquired of the Lord, shall I presume after this bed? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, presume, for you shall surely overtake and shall surely rescue. So David set out the 600 men, as you can see. Okay? All right, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Let me not preach holding this. I want to give you a revelation. I was told, and I pray with you. This is uh, David, who was anointed as a king. And the Bible talks about when David, a man was that was after Gozad, was went outside to fight. And when he was outside fighting, coming back, he found <coughs> his wives were taken and children. In other words, he went outside to attack, and the enemy came inside to attack him. I want to speak with you, if you can see, you realize that there is always, when you attack, you'll be attacked. But here, you could see that God was showing something, that God was ready for David, even when he was attacked. So the Bible says, he went out, when he came back, he found that he had two wives, they were taken, sons and daughters were taken, and then now there was people who were there with him who turned against him and tried to say, you see, you are the one who took us away to go and fight. But now look what happened to us. They turned also and say, let's stone him. David had two problems, number one, his wives were taken. Number two, people that were helping him were turned against him. So you can see that this was a distress. But there is something that we have read there that David, the Bible says, he wept until tears were no longer coming out. There was a time when I was looking on some people that they are no longer crying. And I questioned why they don't cry. I found that they have cried enough, and their cry now cannot produce tears. There are some people who are here who are listening to me. Uh, they have cried enough. 
but tears are no longer coming out. When we read about David, we found that David encouraged himself in the Lord. That's what the Bible says. When he encouraged himself in the Lord, after you can see that there is nobody now. His wives were taken. The people he went, he encouraged them to go and fight together. Also, they say, let's stone him. He encouraged himself, said, please, I, can I follow these people and go and fight so that I recover what has been taken from me? When you read going down, the Bible says, David was told to go. And when he reached there, he recovered all. So tonight is a night of recovering all. Yeah. Listen to this. I want you to hear clear that to David, it was not easy. But he was forced to encourage himself in the Lord because there was nobody who can encourage him. There are times whereby everybody goes away from you and you find that you are left with only heaven. So David, when he sees that these people want to stone him, the people wanted to stone him were the people that he was encouraging to say, let's go and fight them. But these are the same people, when things were tough, they turned back to say, let's stone him. Sometimes you reach a level whereby you find that the people that you have encouraged, they want to kill you. So David reached that level. But he reached a level of saying, I don't mind about what these people are saying. I don't mind about what they are talking concerning killing me. Let me encourage myself in the Lord. There are some people here who are encouraging themselves in the Lord today. What you need is encouragement. You encourage yourself. To encourage yourself is to gather strength. I don't know if you're hearing me. I say it's to gather strength. I see a strength coming to someone. I see a strength coming to someone. Listen, you need the strength from the Lord, not from a friend. You need the strength from the Lord, not from any neighbor. Because even the people you think they can help you are the ones who can turn back tomorrow and try to destroy you. But I'm here to tell you that the encouragement that you were having for many years will start to bring strength that will work for you. And if you believe, shout hallelujah. I found that all the time when God wants to work, when God wants to do something, he brings a person to a place where you are lonely. I don't know if you're hearing me. So this man was in a place where he was lonely. When he was lonely there, he encouraged himself. I can take you to a, a man that he encouraged, was told to be encouraged. This, his name is Joshua. Amen. When Joshua sees that Moses died, he looked around, he remembered the miracles. Amen. And then now, when God say, encourage yourself, be encouraged, he realized that there's nothing he can do because God could not call someone beyond him. He was there with, with, uh, with Moses. And God said, okay, encourage yourself. You are the one that I can use. Listen to this. If your discouragement has brought shame on you, this is the time that you look unto the Lord and you encourage yourself and tell yourself that I will never fall down because God has brought me where I am. I don't know if you are hearing me. Listen to this. I don't know what you are facing, but I'm here to tell you that there's a strength from encouragement. But that strength, will never be a strength that can get elapsed because it's coming from the one who created strength. And his name is Jehovah Creator. Yeah. I don't know if you're hearing that. Yeah. So I'm here to tell you that. Listen to this. The Bible says in Ephesians 3 verse 10 that when God uh, brings out the church, because the Bible says he himself who chose some people, but when God brings out the church, and in that church you find that there's something that you have to focus on to Jesus. When you focus on to Jesus, that's why you receive the strength. And the strength is the one that can take you forward. You, you, you can read Ephesians 3 verse 10 and you go down. You find that when God raised people, he raised them so that the, the, the wisdom of the church will just show those people who are outside. There's a strength from the wisdom of the church. And the church of God 
must prove that wisdom so that the wisdom of the church will outweigh the wisdom of the world. And there are some people who are listening to me right now that they are receiving strength and they were tired of following God. So I'm here to tell you that there's a race in front of you. You can accelerate and you never get tired. Yeah. Listen to this. There were times whereby some people, when they are with you in your lives, and devil used them against you. Can you just get away from the people and you love them? There is Lord Jeho God Jehovah. There is God Jehovah who can give you strength tonight. I said there is the strength that is coming to you tonight. Amen. If you believe, say amen. amen. The Bible says when the enemies, I want to tell you this, when they took all the children and they took everything, they never even kill, they never even destroy. Because your enemy is not there to take your things and destroy it. Is there to take your things and use it in a wrong way. Amen. Listen to this. The Bible says they were taken to be slaves. In other words, they were taken to be abused. Amen. So some people have taken your cars, they're abusing them. Amen. There are many, many things that belong to you. But because, you see, you were attacking somewhere, you will end up being attacked at the back. Sometimes you see where you can see that you can go out and attack there. Later, you don't know that the enemy was waiting for you to attack there. Listen to this. Life is all about attacking. Life is all about attacking. If, if, if you're attacking me, somebody's... I don't, I don't know if you're hearing me. So the Bible says, when they were busy attacking them, all of them were taken slaves. I don't know if you're hearing that. In other words, they were taken to be abused. There are things were taken to be, to be, to be mis, uh, misused. And then when they come back, they found it's empty. There are many things that you people, you were supposed to be receiving now, but they are being abused somewhere there. And the Bible says, they cry and cry. Listen to this. Crying is over. This is the time of rising up and encourage yourself in the Lord. I say, crying is over. Can you say somebody say, my friend, with your problem, crying is over. I see you crying, but it's over. I say it's over. Encourage yourself. You can make it where there is no way. There are some people who are here. You can make it where there is no way. Stop fighting people because of your problem. Stop worrying because of your problem. Stop questioning everything because of your problem. For cast unto him who is, who is the finisher of your faith. If you believe, shout hallelujah. I feel strength today. Do you feel strength? Do you feel strength today? Are you encouraging yourself? I see you doing better than other people. I see you doing better than other people. If you believe, shout hallelujah. When your strength is elapsed, things will be taken from you. But there is nothing you can do. Have you ever found that, you see, somebody stronger than you is taking something from you? But you can't do anything. Amen. It's what is happening to you. Amen. If not, you were supposed to be where you wanted to be. Amen. Something has been taken, yes. but there is nothing you can do. Amen. But there is encouragement that is entering in your spirit. Amen. And as you are listening to me right now, I'm here to tell you that you will run your race and never get tired. Can, can you ask somebody, say, my friend, do you know that encouragement... Open your, eyes for Open your eyes for visions. Listen to this. When these people realize that everything has been taken, the Bible says, can we overtake them? They never question, when did they go? When was the last time or what, which hours they traveled from here? It says, can we go and get them? There are some people here that I can see that from here you will move somewhere and recover all. I see you recovering all. I see, I see you recovering all. You are recovering all. How many of you are recovering all? How many of you are recovering all? Listen, this is the time that God has to lift you to make you to dominate. So that when you are attacked, even when somebody wants to attack you, you'll be able to attack that one. 
This is the time of attacking double. Yes. Attacking in front of you yes. and attacking back one of you. Yes. I don't know if you are hearing me. Yes. I see you are recovering all. Yes. I see you are recovering all. Yes. There's a delay that has happened to your life and when you look at yourself, you are already, I mean, telling yourself that you are out of way. And even some fights, you cannot fight them because you feel like it has been happening for many years. But I'm here to tell you that you are recovering all. That is your message. You are recovering all. You are recovering your marriage. You are recovering your car. You are recovering your house. You are recovering your health. If you believe, shout a hallelujah. How many of you knows? Listen, because that's what God told me. That when you go there, you know, if this man will recover all, everybody will recover all. Yeah. I, I don't know if you're hearing me. Yeah. God was telling me about that young man, that prophet. He says, can you see what they did to him? When he was carrying on attacking, they attacked him in the back. And when they attacked him in the back, so his strength was finished. Amen. When the strength was finished, God says, oh, if you go there, he will recover all. Yes. Even what they've taken. Yes. I don't know if you are hearing me. Yes. Pastor, say, my friend, my friend, I see you recovering all. You recovering all. Can you tell your neighbor like you are saying? I see you recovering all. It is your message. of our problem today is we have how long we have lost that. That's our problem. We end up settling for the second best. David never did that. He said, can I pay you? If you say yes, I will do that. How long I'm facing this? There was a time where I asked God and said, it's long I've been facing a delay. How long? God said, this delay is nothing. It's serving for a purpose. Amen. How long you are facing this? There are some people who are listening to me now. Amen. That whatever that has happened to you, I'm telling you now. Amen. It was for the glory of the living God. Amen. Are, are you ready to see the glory? Yes. How many of you are ready to see the glory? Yes. I see you recovering all. Yes. I see you recovering all. Yes. From tomorrow, I will hear testimonies here. Yes. You know, there will be a testimony of recovery. Yes. I don't know if you are hearing me. Yes. I said there will be a testimony of what? Of recovery. My car was taken, I recover it. Yes. My house was taken, I recover it. Yes. My health, I was sick. Things were tough and there was no way, but I recover it. I see a testimony that you are receiving. It will even shock those people who think they have lost all. I say you are recovering 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 all. Are you ready to recover all? Are you ready? Can you tell someone very close to you, what are you recovering? The person say what? Oh, yeah. huh? oh, yeah. <laughs> By me coming here, yeah. can I tell you what I recover? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I recover anointing that is there than that what was here. Yeah. I, I, I can show you, I can tell you guys here. Can you stand with me? Can you look over there? Stand there. Can you see? Can, can you see these guys here? Yeah. These people here, already they are under their anointing when I'm standing here. Yeah. Because I came here, if I make one step here, let me, let me do it like this. Watch that. Yeah. It's recovery. Yeah. What, what are you recovering? Yeah. I, I can't hear you. Uh, uh, you, you don't know, you don't know. I see you recovering all. 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 I 
recovering on? Uh, what are you recovering? Because some of you have been struggling for many years and you were asking yourself if it's possible, it's better I take the small thing. But I'm here to tell you that God say, no, you don't take the small thing. You take the best thing that you were dreaming of. I see your dreams coming to pass. I see what you've been fasting for coming to pass. You are recovering all. 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 I see you recovering all. I see you recovering all. You are recovering all. Take it, take it. 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 It takes the grace for you to get this message. Because I'm seeing people who stole things from you. Coming back to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Those who lie to you, coming back to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, was the, it was the devil. I've seen people coming back to you and say, oh, I didn't know this thing is like this. They, they have to bring back what they've taken from you. Your health, your job, your promotion, your life must come back in the name of Jesus. I see them coming to you. They have left you, but they are coming back to praise your God. I don't, I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. I see them coming to you. Are you ready to see them? I said they are coming to you. I said they are coming to you. Can you recover some say, say, take it like a ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-